Hi everyone, so I'm going to be doing a look with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. If you want to see how I create a look, keep on watching. Okay, so, um, I don't know what colors I really kind of want to use because they're all bright colors and they're all pretty so I don't know which colors I'm going to use just yet but <clears throat> as this goes on I most likely will pick something but yeah so I know I there's a lot of controversy and I guess like a lot of hate and well what's going on with the beauty community and it's kind of sad but <clears throat> I'm still going to review his palette. Like, I mean, I want to buy the other, I think it's the other, like, it's uh, the other one that looks like this, <clears throat> which is the cremated. And then I want to get Controversy, and then I want to get um, Blue Blood. I'm not really, I'm not really, like, into uh, the red one. I don't know red blood blood red I don't know it's the red one um I don't know if I really want that one so I've been looking to see if I could find them on sale and other websites because I am not paying full price for this so um yeah I'm just gonna I just primed my eyes I'm letting it sit for a minute um I don't know what colors I kind of want to use I kind of want to stay in the bright family so I do want to try this purple. I don't know. I really like this purple color right here. This purple here, but then I like this blue and I like this blue. And I really like this uh, yellow. So maybe I can do like that rainbow look again. Maybe I'll do one color this side and the other color on this side because I don't know. I never did something crazy like that before so I kind of want to do like something different on this side and then something like two different looks on each eye but using that rainbow looking way but honestly this is weird but I don't know all the colors in the rainbow I know that's weird I know there's purple yellow red is there a pink I don't know I don't remember is there green I don't know um so I kind of want to do like some type of look like that. So yeah. So I might use these three colors on one eye. These three, which is this yellow, pink, and purple. And then in the other eye, I might use this blue, this orangey looking color. or Well, it's F-U-C-K word. And this color right here. I'm not sure. I'm going to be different, so I don't need them to match. All I need them to do is look good. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully it comes out right, but I just don't know which one I'm going to use first. So let's see. Again, I'm going to be, I'm not going to really be using um, my um, JH30 like that. I'm going to use, I'm going to go use this color here to like prime my eyes like not prime but like throw something on so i'm just gonna take my powder off which i'm using the real technique 025 brush which is this and i'm just gonna brush that off it's so soft this is like um i don't remember which collection this was but apparently it was like a limited edition so i don't know if they still have it or not but they should because I just bought this like a while ago on sale. So, but I got this one and this one the same time. This is like a um, highlighting brush, but I'm not a fan of it. I don't really like, this is uh, the Real Technique 020 brush. I'm not really like, I don't, I don't like it to use my highlight. Maybe I'll try it again. I tried it once and it wasn't like, I wasn't like a fan of it. So, all right, so I'm gonna go in with Virgin, which is this color here. 
one thing I don't like about the uh, his palettes is that like he puts these really nice little prints on here like his stars and then like other ones in other palettes but then once like you start to use it it fades away like I don't I don't find the purpose of putting like prints on them if it's only gonna fade away so yeah I'm just like fanning this on this is a lot of payout I'm only tapping it and this is how much is coming out like that's awesome and then I'm just gonna fan it a little bit I think I'm going to go in with the pink first. I think I'm gonna go in with this one first and put that in my inner corner. Look how much payout that is. Um. I bought like another palette that is very colorful that should be coming in soon. I just got the notification saying that um, that it's been shipped. So I'm excited, but it's like, I can't buy any more colorful palettes. Like I have already like three and they all pretty much have the same colors just different like um pigment different formulas i was gonna get that new elf one like i said in the last video but i chose not to because i'm not gonna buy one that already has all the colors that i have i'm not gonna do that so right now i'm just patting i pat it on but now I kind of want to like fan it because since I didn't really go in with a um, transition shade, I kind of want to fan out the top right here just to like movement. I got to get new brushes. I don't like these brushes anymore. I can't use them. They're not doing what I want them to. So this is the M433 brush. This is the Morphe brush. And I'm not liking this brush anymore. So I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna take another M M433 brush and I'm gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go in with yellow, which is wow. That's the name of it, which is this color. And I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna pat it on first. And then I'll take it and blend it out once I'm done patting it on, just to get the majority of the colors. I'm going to fan that. I know these aren't probably the brushes that I should be using, but they're flat and it works, so... I'm just gonna do that. brushes this is not cool like I don't know what happened to half of my brushes that I had I had like a ton of flat ones and they're nowhere to be found 
I'm gonna just go in with the JH33 brush, another 33 brush. So this might be the same fucking brush, but I'm gonna go in with the yellow again and I'm just going to pat it. I think this might actually be the same freaking brush. So I'm going to take this small brush from its JS6 brush and I'm going to go into that purple. Ooh, that was a lot of pickup. Look, see that right there? Look at all that. But then look at the pink and then look at the yellow. There's like nothing there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this. This one had a lot more payout than the other two. Um, so I'm going to use another color after this purple because I still have like this little gap right here, but I don't want to take the purple all the way because it doesn't, it won't match like the amount, the amount on each one that I have. Okay, so then I'm going to have to take another brush if I can find one. Oh, I did. I think I found the other JS6 brush, yeah. All right, I just got to clean it off a little bit. But his, the pigments on his come out so much better. And like, I, I just don't know why, like he, this is going on right now. All right, so I'm gonna take the, this color right here and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. Just a little bit because yeah, see how that like fills in that little gap, but I could still fan it out. Yeah. And then I'm just tapping it, tapping it out. There we go. That's actually a pretty color. Of course, I'm gonna have to go back in and you know put a little bit more up in there with each color because I don't, I need them to be a little bit brighter. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in with that purple and put more purple. I'm gonna just backtrack, you know, I'm just going downwards, working my way, spread it out a little bit. And then go with the yellow. right here don't remember which one okay here it is all right and I'm gonna go into the pink and uh, brighten this up fan that up there I feel like that worked. Now I'm gonna just take again that, I don't know if it was this brush. 
no it was this brush okay i'm gonna just go back into cute which is uh that teal color and i'm just gonna put in a little bit right here and then just to brighten it up a little bit all right so now i'm gonna do the other side and I think I'm gonna start off with this, this color right here. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. So I'm gonna kinda like find other brushes that I can use. I really need to double up in brushes because I don't have more flat brushes. So I'm probably gonna have to use, I'm gonna use this one which is this one, I don't, it's it's the blender brush. I don't know where I got it from. So I'm gonna just go with that F-U-C-K one. And I'm just going to put this here. not sure how I feel about this brush because it's not doing any like it's not really getting into my corner and I can't really So I'm going to have to use a, one of the brushes that I use for the other side because this one's not doing it for me. So I'm going to just continue to go into the F-U-C-K one and put it right here. All right. And then I'm going to take, um, I guess I'm going to have to take this one too. And I think I'm going to go in with kind of want to use the um, green greenish color, which is called sour. It's this color right here. I think I'm going to use that because I kind of want to put something like that. I haven't I want to like use as much as I can with the different colors. And that matches fine. Not that I'm worried about it, but. I'm just trying to blend those two together. Okay, so I'm just gonna go one more time. Blend it up here. All right, so this, these two colors have big uh, fallout. Like those two definitely have like a bigger fallout. So yeah, just wanting you guys to know, just in case you decide to buy this, unless you already have it. And then I'm going to take, which is this color right here, and just put that there. Let's see how that works. Once I put like mascara on and all of that, I think it would just, it'll come together. And as you can tell, I ended up not using any of the colors, that, almost any of the colors that I told you when I first started. But that's okay. 
We already know I don't really know until I start. Okay, now I'm gonna take my JH40 30 brush and I'm just going to kind of fan these out, like fan them together because up here it kind of looks dumb. Yeah, that looks kind of weird because I went a little too high, but we'll fix that. Anyway, so I'm going to take now my JS6 brush because this is the only ones that I really have. I'm wiping them, so that works. So I'm going to use Brain Freeze, which is that light blue. Let me see if I can grab the palette without with one hand which is that light blue right here. And again, there's a lot of fallout and that's how much is on the brush. So I'm just gonna take this. I don't know if you guys can see all the, the, the pigment coming and flying away in the air. So now this baby blue looks much better than the one in um, in a trance from ColourPop. I hate the fact that I have to use the same brushes for everything because now I have to like brush this off, go to the other side, and it's annoying. <laughs> okay, so I'm going back into cute. Gotta dig it in a little bit more and tap this here. Because it kind of looked like it was fading. And I don't want that to fade. Did I like blend that right? Yeah, I think that's okay. And then I'm gonna take the purple. Okay. Wipe that off. Go with the yellow. Now blend. I'm blending this um, pink, put more pink. And right now I'm just tapping it and now I'm gonna fan it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna redo the other side. Okay. So I think it came out okay. I'm, I'm gonna see once I put like mascara on and all of that, but I don't know how I feel about like doing it this way. Because it's hard to blend when you do it this way and it just takes up more time. I can never make it look like how these girls do on like YouTube and like Pinterest and all of that. Like I can't make it look like that. I just have to like really practice and do my best, but that's all I can, I can only do my best. Like I can't. And I had fanned it out a little bit with my JH30 just to kind of like blend them, but then they all like kind of fade it. But I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe my face off. And then I will be right back with the completed look. Okay, I'm back. So this is the completed look. This is how it looks. I love it. 
I don't care. Like I knew once I put like mascara on and the rest of my face, it would just come together. I was gonna put lashes on, but I really didn't feel like doing that because my eyelashes look kind of popping. They look good. I was just gonna go in with the Ardell natural lashes. So I was gonna do that, but then I decided not to. And yeah, so this is the completed look. Um, I did use the Lancome CCD cream and I like it so far. The only thing that I wanna say that I probably don't like as much is that it's very, very like tacky, like really sticky and like that sticky feeling. So what I did was I went in, I, that I completely forgot that I had this. I went in with the Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder, which is this. It says it's supposed to be like a all over the face setting powder. It uh, locks in makeup and brightens complexion instantly. This is weightless powder formulated with pearl pigments, provides a soft sheen and smudge resistant it is enhances wearability so yeah you just put this all over your face I guess with this like and it's supposed to lock in the makeup and it actually feels so much better right now um, I never used this before so I'm kind of glad I did like I'm glad I actually bought it but yeah and then I just um, went in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I set it with the regular uh, Derma Blend loose setting powder which is the original I need to get more it's like already kind of like running out wait let me see if I can like yeah like it's legit running out I need to go and buy more um, so I did that and then um, I just repeated the same thing I did at the top to the bottom as you can see and I went in with jawbreaker this color right here with my on my brow bone and in my inner corner and I actually took this as my highlight I used it for my highlight this That's is what it. I used here instead of my um what do you call this brand oh my goodness Ofra my Ofra uh highlight which was usually Rodeo Drive I usually put that on so I kind of just like put this like that and I used my little brush and I just dipped into it and went like this. That's it. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I like it when it's like very bright. It looks good. So yeah, that's all I did. And um, I went in with my mascaras that I normally went into. I had to open up my new one because the other one was kind of like not really doing it for me no more. So I opened this. I did um, this on my upper lashes first and then I went in with this and then I went with this for underneath my lashes, like on my bottom lashes. And then I used my um, ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in white and I used my ColourPop Frozen 2 collection um, glitter. It's Mythic Journey, I believe that's what it's called. It could barely see it in the writing. So, yeah. Um, I didn't really do my hair. My hair is the same. I had like, I just put it like this. I did this because it's hot outside and I wasn't trying to wash my hair right now. And I have to wash it. So, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'll show you another take of the look. I really like it. Like, even though I'm not used to doing two different um, looks on each side, I just think this is like kind of something different that I never really did before. So kind of like it. So yeah, uh, please like, subscribe, and click the notification button down below to get all my future uploads. And like I said before, the more likes I get, the more YouTube shares with others. And I think it's the same thing when people share my video. So please share them and I will be back again. So Bye. Hey everyone, I just wanted to do like a quick check-in before I go to bed. It's about to be, I think, 10 o'clock or it is 10 o'clock. I can't remember. 
but um so I kind of noticed like when I went to go brush my teeth and all of that that mm, the shadows are kind of like fading a little bit and I pretty much didn't really do anything all day because it was really hot today really 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 hot and I do not do well with the heat I can't stand it that's why I have like th literally three fans I have this fan here that fan back there and then I have a fan right there it's ridiculous of how hot it gets into this room but I noticed that the the um, shadows were kind of fading a little bit um, I'm just gonna do like a little close-up this is what they kind of look like right now. I feel like they're, they, like right now it doesn't look like that because now the lighting and then on my camera, like you can see it a little bit better, but it, it kind of faded a little bit. And I don't know if that's normal, but I am going to do another look with this palette tomorrow because, you know, why not? So, and yeah. But anyway, this is what my makeup is kind of like keeping up as. I um I had my glasses on today too. I had um these on. So normally when I have them on, it leaves like a little crease right here with the um like with whatever foundation or whatever I have on my face. This light is like my glasses are super bright. Like, you can see the ring light. It's so weird. Anyway, so usually when I have my glasses on, I always get, like, an indent on my eye, like, right here. And it, it's not so bad. I'm really glad about that. So, I am I think I'm really liking the um, Luminous Banana Powder. Because I feel like this is what really set all of it and didn't move it or leave a little crease. So, I'm going to keep using that. And I would definitely do another video using it and keep you guys updated. But... Yeah, so I just wanted to throw this up there and show you guys what it's looking like. It like kind of faded like right here and like a couple spots. Like this kind of like is already almost gone. Yeah, so I don't know about this, but I'm gonna be using his palette again because you know I spent the money on it, so I'm gonna use it. And yeah, so I'm gonna head to sleep. I will be back very soon and you guys will see this video. Have a good one. Good night.